Robert Ford, R-O-B, E-R-T, F-O-R-D. Your battalion chief, Encinitas? Correct. All right, where, can you just walk us through where we are tonight and what happened behind us? Well, we're northbound five, north of Loma Santa Fe on the right shoulder. We have two vehicles that were involved in a collision. Both of them were rolled over or overturned, and we had a patient in each vehicle that needed to be assisted out of the vehicle. Okay, how long did the extrication, extrication process take? Oh, probably about 10 minutes to get both, 10, 15 minutes to get both people out of the vehicle, and both were transported to local hospitals. Can we talk about injuries, uh, just the severity of injuries? Uh, the mechanism of the crash was pretty severe, and both patients were transported to trauma centers. Okay, and uh, the freeway was shut down for three or four lanes. I mean, can you, I mean, with any freeway crash, right, speed is definitely an issue. Can we talk about just the type of damage that's sustained by these cars? Well, the damage is pretty substantial, which is consistent with, um, you know, being rolled over on a freeway. I, I don't know anything in terms of speed. That would be up to the CHP to determine what the cause and the speed of the vehicles were. We had an initial fear that there was someone ejected. However, our search results turned up negative. It did turn up negative. We canvassed the area with uh, uh, infrared cameras and uh, a bunch of uh, firefighters and police officers who were unable to find another victim. Okay, general age range, male or female, for the passengers in the uh, vehicles? Um, you know, actually, I don't know. I didn't actually see either of the patients. Okay, but they're both transported to Scripps La Jolla? Uh, one to Scripps La Jolla and one to, I think, Sharp. Sharp, okay. And uh, life-threatening injuries at this point, Uh I, I couldn't tell you. I just said they were trauma-related injuries. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you.